Hello guys, KP Shamino here and I'm still at New York and I'm going to show you guys my last movie from New York and it's about the Northern Pike so how you need to catch him it's uh, it's not really complicated but you need to make some distance because the developers did something nice with this so first of all, like you guys can see I'm not hiding in the bushes here but that's a lot better to throw uh, on the the reed that you see at the right so how do you come here yeah you just go to the dock and instead of standing on the dock you need to go to there why is that important because the northern pike is sitting in the reed at the right here and the problem is if you throw now you got like a small distance that you going to cover near the reed so that's the main problem here so if you go now here, the angle gets uh, smaller, like this. Do you see? Now you can have a lot of more distance near the reed. But the main problem is you need to throw really far. So, like you can see, uh, yeah, the best is to just throw on the rock close to the reed. So I'm going to show you guys how you need to throw. So. Uh, Always is good to have a rod on. What the fuck happened? Where did ah here it is? Okay, it was uh, like a graphical bug, I think. So just get a nice position, and you will see now. If I cast here, it's like yeah, almost on the reed, and that's the best position. Okay, so I'm going to throw over there. This, uh, put the real speed on two and your drag on 2-2 uh, two, two. because the northern uh, pike can go to 1.7 kilograms so it, it it can pull like a truck the first time that I had it my drag was on 3 and it was bang and my line was broken so it pulls really hard so what you need to do now is now you will see that my line is uh, doing a lot of uh, meters close to the reed Therefore, it's important that you can throw far here, otherwise the, it doesn't going to work. Take it from me, it's possible that you take uh, can catch a northern pike if you are far from the, the reed, but it's a lot harder than doing it this way. So what you need to do now is, like, I got a little trick. So I just... Uh, oh, that was already a bite, I think. No, no, it's it was a snag, I think, yeah. So just reel in, you pull. Reel in, you pull. And you will see I'm now at 60 meters. The moment that I hit uh, 45 meters, even 50 meters, I stop, I reel in and I go again. Because you guys see now, no, that was a snag again. You guys see now that I'm getting further and further away from the reed. Do you see it? The angle with the reed. So if I get it all the way to here, I'm I'm so much so far away from the reed that it's almost impossible to catch the northern pike. Okay, so that was it practical uh, for uh, for this uh, guide. I can show you guys my gear, but it's uh, it's uh, yeah, it's not a lot. Just going to get my line back in. So it has everything to do with the position ah yeah before i forgot of course uh, the casting spoon 14 gram uh, the red and the white that i'm now using works really good here but it's everywhere here in new york that it works really good only on the walleye it don't work and of course the normal casting the the gold one uh, the the yellow and the red dots that you need to buy with gold works here too so if i would suggest what you need to use on the northern pike I would go for this one the red and the white and the yellow and the red dots on it okay be sure that you can make the distance and it's going to be a lot easier okay this was the guide for the northern pike and I'm going now to Colorado because I'm already level 13 and I never been to Colorado so see you guys later with some movies from there it's trout fishing, I think. So, uh, yeah, I'm a little bit excited. Happy fishing and bye-bye.